Well, it's tough to control weeds anymore in broadleaf crops and you have to do everything right. But when you get a chance to rotate to a crop like corn or wheat, you can really wipe out some weeds. Today we want to focus on corn and what the post-emerge choices are to stop all these tough weeds. And Brian, I just want to hit you up on some of these weeds. Pigweed, for example. Guy said this was one of the worst pigweed years ever. Yeah, but you come up with any weed, Darren, and my answer for every one of them is going to be the same. Status. So tell me a weed where I'm not going to prefer status over anything else. The problem last year was it was really Really high priced. We're seeing some retailers this year with significantly lower prices on status. There seems to be more supply out there. That's good news for all of us. Now, if you think that status is just a dicamba product, you're wrong. The dicamba is a tiny little portion of it. The main weed killer there is difufensipir. All right, let's talk about dicamba because I hear guys saying, you know what? I need to go cheap this year and there are some sure. dicambas out there, generic banvels well, that I can get yes, stuff but, cheaper. Well, yeah, I'm talking about the best. Okay, the best is status at seven and a half ounces. That's the full rate. If you want to cheapen things up, first thing you can do is take status at a lower rate. And I'll take two and a half ounces of status over 12 ounces of clarity any day of the week. Let's say that you have a weed like Palmer pigweed that's resistant to Roundup. And you say, I'm going to mix two and a half ounces of status in with a full rate of Roundup. It's not going to work. You're going to have some holes and you need to get those weeds in there tiny, tiny, tiny if you want it to do a good job. Yep. That is an extremely cut rate. That's a one third rate to the product. Yep. But I still think that's just a head of 12 ounces of well, clarity. I think guys, it's not honestly, good. Most guys using 16 ounces anymore. And well, let's, okay, that's my point. Five ounces of status is going to be way better than 16 ounces of clarity. But what we're getting at here is, okay, we can do the best. We can do status. We can go relatively cheap dicamba. There are other options this year. You might find NHPPD, like Impact, by the time you get all the rebates in, that might be your cheapest option. Spike it with a little bit of atrazine or spike it with two or four ounces of dicamba, something like that. We do have old Buctril that's now off patent and way less expensive than it used to be if all you had was some cockleburr and sunflower and lamb's quarters, things like that. So you can really fine tune your program. You just can't fine tune it in the middle of the winter. What I always tell people is, hey, use a good pre and then let's see what comes post. Even on our own farm, I don't know what we're going to use. We're going to wait and see what comes post emerge. We're going to try to spray early. We're going to scout and then we're going to identify, okay, I got these weeds. Now we'll make an appropriate decision. Okay. Let me throw another question at you. I'm going to use counter and some of the other yep. insecticides. All of a sudden there's warnings on those products of, hey, yeah. you got to watch out what you're using post. Yeah. Where does that limit us? Well, really counter insecticide is the worst because it's systemic. So in a way it's the best insecticide for some bugs because it is systemic. And it moves up through the plant. And nematodes. Right. And it's a nematocyte as well. So if you use counter, we would just tell you, number one, for sure stay away from the ALS herbicides. But then in addition, some people have talked about the HPPDs, Impact, Armazon, Callisto, Laudus. There probably is a little bit of interaction there. So you might want to stay away from that. I don't worry about it too much, but if you want to be 100% safe, then I go with Buctril or Dicamba or Status. That would be your safest option. All right. How about the double dip? We got these broadleaf slash grass herbicides that guys are using pre. Yep. Where do we have to watch? out so we don't double up. Well, all, all we're getting at here is, hey, if you're going to use an HPPD pre, I probably wouldn't use an HPPD post. In other words, if you use balance pre, Halex, anything that contains an HPPD, don't go post-emerge and spray Impact, Armazon, Callisto, Laudus, anything containing an HPPD, because then you've doubled up. The other question I'm hearing, Brian, is should I just leave the Roundup out of the tank? It's not killing those broadleaf well, weeds anymore. Maybe I should just go with these other products. Absolutely not. And here's the reason why. That's your rescue for grass, and it does definitely help on a lot of broadleaf. Yet. All right, we've had fun talking about weed control, but we're not done. Our Weed of the Week is coming up next.